The arithmetic mean of the scores of a group of students in a test was 52. Arithmetic mean is nothing but the average. The brightest 20% of them secured a mean score. Mean score again is nothing but average of 80. And the dullest 25% a mean score of 31. So basically a question on averages. The average of the entire group is 52. Forget about brightest or dullest. That doesn't matter for us. 20% of them have scored an average of 80. 25% of them have scored an average of 31. What is the average score of the remaining 55%? See, 20% plus 25%, 45% is given. Average of the remaining 55% students is the question here. How do you do this? See, we know that the average for the entire class is how much? 52. So, this 52 is equal to what? Average of... Uh, you know, you know, 52, average 52 here is nothing but the sum of the scores of brightest 20% plus the sum of the score of the dullest 25% plus the sum of the scores of remaining 55% divided by 100. So do that now. So sum of the scores of brightest 20%. Let's assume there are 100 students, right? Let's assume there are 100 students in this class, right? Total, we have got 100 students. Now solve this, what happens? Out of 100 students, 20 students, 20 percent nothing but 20. 20 students have scored 80. So what is the sum of their scores? 20 into 80 plus 25 percent of 100 means 25 students have scored how much? 30, uh, 31. So uh, their total is 25 into 31 plus remaining 55 percentage. 55 percent of 100 is 55. Let us assume their average is A. That's what you have to find, right? Average has to be found. Mean score is A divided by what? 100. You getting it? 52 is the overall average for 100 students. What is average? Sum of the values by number of values. Sum of the uh, brightest 20, sum of the dullest 25, sum of the remaining 55 divided by 100. Do the calculation, you will get the answer. Right? I mean, the only step that I would do for you all is take 5 as a common multiple. So 5 into 4, 5 into 5, 5 into 11 and this is 5 into 20. Now do this 52 into 20 is 1040. So we can say 1040 is equal to uh, 320 plus 5 into 31 is 155 plus 11a. So 11a. Again I am writing all the steps. Cut down the number of steps. Right? Do these calculations mentally. 5, uh, 320 plus 155 is uh, 475. Right? 475. So 1040 minus 475. How much will that be? 1040, 1000 minus, uh, 1000 minus 475, 525, 525 plus 40, 565, right? So A, the required answer is 565 by 11. Achha, options are simplified now. What is 565 by 11? Do that calculation. See, 550 is 50 times. Oh, yeah. 50 times, 51 times, 51 point something, right? 51 point something. But yeah, 51 point something. So option 2, 3 and 4 are eliminated. Either option 1 or option 5, none of this. I think it will be 51.3, 51.3, right? 565, see, I am writing what I am doing mentally. I am writing here so that you can understand what is going on in my head when I am doing this calculation. For me, 565 is not 565. For me, 565 is 550 plus 11 plus 4. So 550 by 11 is 55. This is one result. 11 by 11 is 1. Sorry, 550 by 11 is 50. That is the first part of the result. 11 by 11 is 1. Second part of the result. 4 by 11. 4 by 11 is how much? 0. 0.36. In fact, 0. 0.36, 36, 36 and so on. So what is the overall answer? 50 plus 1 plus 0. 0.36, 36, 36. 51 point. 36, 36, 36 and goes on up to infinity. Right? This is what you must do mentally. So I think the answer comes out to be option 1. Because 51.36, 36, 36 up to infinity is actually 51.4. Right? So option 1 is the answer.